Master Yoda. I see there's always two. With a Sith, there's a Master and an Apprentice. But I feel a disturbance in the Force. What does this mean? It means... There is another one. Jack Daniels, Bonded Rye, Haunted Proof, coming to you next on the channel. Live long and prosper. Welcome back to the channel, Star Wars and Star Trek fans of all kinds. This right here, we're getting into the new Jack Daniels Bonded Rye. 100 proof, 4 years old, as per regulations of the 1897 Bottle and Bond Act. I got this 700 mLs for $33 through Barrel Tap, believe it or not. And I picked up two bottles. I said, you know what? I really like the Triple Mash. I really like the Bonded. The Bonded, not as much as the Triple Mash, but I said, you know what? Everybody's been reviewing this and hit Michigan. It hasn't even hit like Indiana or even Ohio. I said, you know what? Let's get it. I like Rise. It's getting into fall. Let's review it for the channel. So, like I say, let's get a little bit on the history. It says, Bonded Rye, our distinct Tennessee rye, opens with the notes of dried fruit followed by lingering hints of toffee. Imparted bold, complex, and balanced taste with a rye finish. Bottom Bond distilled in a single distiller during a single season and matured for a government bonded warehouse for at least four years, 100 proof. Jack Daniels, <clears throat> pardon me, I will agree is hitting it out of the park. Uh, Dan and Sean just did a video uh, today that hit today. You're seeing this today or tomorrow talking about bourbons and whiskeys and that just, just exponentially going up. And I have to agree with them. I mean, there's some that I see that are like eight years old, six years old. They're asking for 120, 140, 179. The Remus uh, 7 that's coming out, that has 10, uh, 10 and 11 year and less. And there are now asking in the state of Michigan, 120. The Remus 5, which was, that was unbelievable, was $79. So yeah, I bought a bunch and I got one bottle left. But I agree with them. It's just going up and up and up. The days of seeing like this, Green Rivers, Weeded Bourbon, and the Bourbons, uh, the 13th Colony that I have sitting over there, those days, to me, it just seems like they're getting dust in the wind. Everything is going to be $40, $50, $60 for four-year-old, three-year-old. It's kind of sad, but got into the bottle, got into the history. Like I always say, what's the juice like inside? Let's get to the nose. You get a woody, ooh, like a woody and an herbal note, like herbaceous tea. It's not unpleasant, but it's kind of punchy. So like, you get that uh, woody note, you get agave. It's not bad. I mean, opens your nostrils. I don't know if you can see it. It's a light amber in color, but she's got some good legs. I mean, they're not great, but they're good. You get a vanilla, a ripe Almost like a ripe raspberry, almost like a banana note, candy cherry. Got into the nose, let's get into the taste. That green tea, a green tea note punches through. You get a vanilla note in the back end. Dried fruits, like if you put them in a, um, the, air, the air dryers, that's what that reminds me of got a good mouthfeel it really does i mean for 33 dollars for 700 mls now i heard you know it's four years at least four years but i know that the mash and drum he said it was it could be up upwards excuse me of five years five to seven years so there's kind of a gray area in there we know it has to be at least four years to be bonded but for 35 bucks i know they're replacing this with the jack daniels rye so this is going to start kind of pumping out there over the time. But I know they said that about the bonded and the mash, uh, the triple mash. And I'm just barely seeing them get out there. And some stores I saw them marking on the bonded and the triple mash up to the 60 and $65. I was like, really? I mean, one liter here in Michigan is 40 and 45. 
40 for the bonded, 45 for the triple match. I'm like, dude, 65 and up? That's ridiculous. You're ripping people off. It's going for a second taste. Yeah, that dried fruits, almost like a hazelnut comes through. For $33, it's good. It'd be a good mixer. I mean, drinking it like I am right now, straight off the rip and neat. Uh, no, I'd probably do this as a mixer. Putting some mixed cocktails. I mean, but it's good. For $33, like I said, it's replacing the old uh, Jack Daniels rye. It's not bad. Would I get another bottle? Yeah. I like mixers. I have friends that come over that like that rye punch, that rye spiciness. This is it. And for the price, you can't beat it. Like I say, I'm your uh, host, Brian. This is the Average Whiskey Drinker Channel. Like I say, find a bottle, open a bottle, enjoy the bottle. Because good whiskeys and ryes are always meant to be shared. Like, comment, please, below if you've had this one or any of the other ones. And subscribe. And I'll talk with you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.